What's going on guys, it's Dramon, and today Nike officially unveiled the PG-1, which is Paul George's first signature model. It's always a pretty big deal whenever Nike drops a brand new signature silhouette, so I wanted to take a little bit of time to let you guys know what I think about the PG-1, because I think it's a pretty good looking sneaker. There are a couple of things that are throwing me off about it, but I'll get more into that later. I just wanna talk about what I love about it first, and the thing I'm most excited about is layers. We live in an era where most basketball shoes just have a one piece upper, which is fine because it performs pretty well, but having layers on a sneaker is a bit of a throwback to the way things used to be. You really don't see it too often anymore, and in my opinion, it just makes for a really good look. The way the different materials play off of each other, it can also lead to some very creative colorways. Now, I'm not a huge fan per se about that scale pattern and that material on the back portion of the PG-1, but again, I'm just happy that there are layers there. It might just be special to this colorway, I doubt it, but keep in mind this is a special 2K colorway. I think it was very smart that Nike launched with this colorway because 2K is a very popular franchise. So who knows, hopefully we'll see a different material on that back end because I'm not a huge fan of that scale material. I saw someone on Instagram say it looks like a dinosaur egg and to be honest with you, they kind of have a point. The next thing I'm most excited about is the cushioning, and I know what you guys are saying. It's only four foot zoom. Why couldn't I have Nike just put it full length like the original Hyper Rev, which retailed for pretty much the same price as the PG-1? And look, I totally get it, but in my opinion, having four foot zoom is way better than just having heel zoom like the Kyrie 3, because I don't even use my heel. And when I do, on the rare occasion, I find it really difficult to feel the cushioning in that area, so I am happy to see the PG-1 utilize zoom in the forefoot, because if there is no cushioning in the forefoot, I pretty much just can't play in whatever model that may be, because there has to be something in there. I'm a pretty explosive player, not as explosive as Paul George or Russell Westbrook. But I am more of a get to the basket type player, so having cushioning in the forefoot is a pretty nice thing to me. The next feature that I wanna say I'm really excited about, I'm just more intrigued with, is the strap. In my opinion, straps are just kind of useless. Every now and then you will get a strap system that will provide more lockdown and support, like the Answer 9. But overall, straps are really just there for aesthetic reasons, and aesthetically, the strap on the PG1. It's a pretty nice look, but it has me intrigued because it's integrated with Flywire on the medial side, so it looks like it's gonna serve a purpose. My only concern is that the strap is pretty far up the forefoot and it might cause an uneven fit in the sense that that area might feel really secure while the rest of the shoe won't, especially since there isn't any Flywire on the lateral side but hopefully Nike figured out a way to make the overall fit on the PG-1 consistent. Now earlier I said that there were a couple of features that threw me off of the PG-1 and I already talked about that scale material on the upper in the heel area, but another feature that has me just a little bit worried is that heel area. I don't know about you guys, but it looks pretty wobbly to me, very similar to the Air Jordan 31's heel, and I haven't played in that model, but a lot of people have been telling me it wasn't really steady in that area, so hopefully the PG-1 doesn't have that problem. It won't be a huge issue for me because like I said earlier, I don't really use my heel, but for people who use a lot of hop steps and jump steps and hard stops and cuts, they're gonna need that area to feel secure. Hopefully the PG-1 does that. Now the last feature I'm gonna talk about is something that I really don't like. It's just an opinion, don't get mad, but that lace lock, it's just way too big. I don't get it, we don't need it. Lace locks are a thing of the past. Just give me a lacing system that works properly without it. I think it's way too big, it looks way out of place. Maybe it's just special for this colorway, I doubt it. So we're gonna see a lot of these lace locks, but those are just my thoughts on the PG-1. The real purpose of this video is to know what you guys think about the PG-1. I wanna know what you think. Do you wanna see a performance review on this model? Are you planning on picking up a pair for yourself? If you don't like it, why not? Sound off in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. My name's Jaren, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Coming in at number four, we got this obsidian color scheme that I'm calling the Yachtsman colorway. The reason why I'm calling it that is because they just remind me of boat shoes. The navy upper, gum bottom, and white hits 
Just remind me of something that a guy who owns a yacht would wear, and I even added a little bit of 